Okay, now that our strain gauge is bonded, we're ready to uh, use the instrument that's contained in the student uh, application kit. This is MicroMeasurement's student DAC, student data acquisition. And uh, this is actually a very handy little instrument. It has bridge completion built in. You can do, uh, in this case, 350. We make a version for 350 ohm gauges, quarter bridge. We make a version for 120 and one for 1,000. In addition to the, in the case of this one, a 350 ohm quarter bridge, you can also do any half bridge or full bridge, and there's nothing else needed. All the bridge completion is built in. Now, to connect it, also included in your student application kit, is what we call an RJ45 screw terminal adapter, RJ45 STA. Now, you can crimp a connector, a standard RJ45 10 pin connector, onto this ribbon cable. But this makes it a little more convenient because you, you can just insert the wires and use the screw terminal here uh, to make a, a reusable connection. So we'll go ahead and connect our strain gauge. I've already got it uh, connected correctly on the uh, screw terminal adapter. And we'll go ahead and plug it into the port on the student DAC. And I'll go ahead and connect this to our PC. Okay, now everything I've showed you there is included with the kit. This is a little um, cantilever fixture. This is not included with the kit. It's something we use for demonstrations here. Uh, but I've got our beam attached. Uh, now we'll go ahead and bring the software up. This software is downloadable from the MicroMeasurements website. So when you purchase a student DAC or the student application kit, uh, the software is included with the kit. It's on a jump drive, but you can also go and download newer versions on our website. I'll go ahead and make this full screen. This is a very simple little application. You can get uh, very easily better than a 1% accurate strain measurement with the setup that we have here. Now, I kept my data sheet. What I need to know at this point is the gauge factor. Uh, this is 2.120 for the strain gauge, plus or minus 0.5%. Now, Gauge factor is your calibration for measuring strain. It is simply the ratio of resistance change to strain. It's the slope of, the cur of a curve, or actually a line, uh, that would be revis resistance versus strain. So I'm just going to type this into the blank here for gauge factor in the software. 2.120. And that's all I need to do. I'm now scaled to measure in units of microstrain. I'm going to zero the instrument. And I'll go ahead and start scanning. So you can see our uh, plot here of strain. Now, as I flex the beam, you can see uh, the strain and tension or compression. Now, that's a little bit hard to read. We can get a little bit better resolution if I change the scale here, which is very easy to do. I'll just make the top scale 500. I'll make the bottom scale negative 500. Now we can get a little more resolution. You can see what this is capable of. Now, one of a, a very common question is once you've gone through the process to install a strain gauge on some test object, how do you know if it's working correctly? And it's a very simple answer, and you can illustrate it here. It's called zero return. And uh, this is 2024 T4 heat treat aluminum, so it's very spring like material. And if I apply a strain to this and then let go, it should snap back to zero microstrain very reliably. A, a strain gauge that's not installed correctly will not behave in that manner. It will not exhibit a good zero return. So the fact that we are seeing a very good zero return here uh, is our best indication that the gauge is functioning correctly and that our strain measurements will be accurate. Now, these C2A series gauges are pre-wired with a three-wire connection, 10 foot of cable. Normally, we might have to correct for a lead wire uh, resistance on that, um, but 10, 10 feet of a 26 gauge cable is pretty, pretty negligible, and the three wire connection will give us temperature stability, so if this cable were to change temperature, we would not have uh, any erroneous output due to temperature from the cable. Okay, so there in one kit, this uh, student application kit, has everything that you need uh, 
from the strain gauge to the bonding materials to the actual instrument to make a measurement.